What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. Kissing on the set doesn't mean anything. We're professional actors who don't catch feelings just because we've kissed our co-stars. Until they do. And in this video, we're going to talk about the couples that didn't have enough kissing on the set, so they had to resume it when the cameras weren't rolling. So here are the movie and TV show couples who dated in real life. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 10, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher. Jackie. Michael, you've been sprung! Oh. Oh. We're going to be starting off this list with a couple that defies all of the Hollywood stereotypes about young actors falling in love with each other after portraying a couple in a show. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis met on the set of That 70s Show and they didn't really like each other. And we're not just talking about their characters here. Mila and Ashton started dating after becoming really close friends on the show and they've even gotten married in 2015. Since then, they have two children together and the couple is going stronger than ever. Even though there are rumors about the two of them separating, there are also posts in which they talk about their hot romance. So you be the judge. Number nine, Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse. Said you're dancing in the I almost I love started you. to believe her. No, Bughead was not just a couple we got to see on Riverdale. Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse were actually dating in real life, but we never knew it until it was too late. They never stated anything explicitly to the public, but when we look back on some of their posts and interviews together, it's so obvious. The two were giggling, they were holding hands, they were doing photo shoots together, and they even spent one New Year's Eve in a remote trailer. Just the two of them where they were talking about philosophy, aliens, and everything else that's intimate, and which you can share with only those closest to you. Come to think of it, how did we not realize this earlier? Sadly, the fairy tale came to an end and Cole Sprouse posted a photo that he and Lily had broken up. They still remain close friends, but no more trailer getaways. If you want to see which Riverdale couple is rumored to be planning on reuniting with their former boyfriend, keep on watching until number six. Number eight, Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson. Now I'm afraid. I'm not afraid of you. I'm only afraid of losing you. Before we talk about the relationship of these vampires, don't forget to smash that like button. It keeps the almighty YouTube algorithm happy and you keep getting these videos for free. Okay, Howard Stern is either a magician or he's slipping some truth pills in the drinks of his guests. Otherwise, we don't see a reason why they would be telling them all of these things. Anyways, back to the vampires. Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson were the hottest couple back in 2012 when The Twilight Zone came out. Kristen Stewart had said that Robert is a really nice and charming guy, but they weren't right for each other. Although she believed that he would be the person the actress would spend the rest of her life with, it's that vampire magic, folks. Number seven, Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield. <laughs> The Amazing Spider-Man that came out in 2010 was the place where Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone met for the first time. She played Gwen Stacy, Peter Parker's love interest, and that's when they said, to hell with professionalism. They started dating and they remained together until 2015. That's when they realized they both had so much work that dating life kept falling behind. They separated with mutual understanding, which is probably why Andrew and Emma stayed close friends throughout the years and they respect each other as well as their work. Number six. Camila Mendez and Charles Melton. She took me back to East Atlanta, na, na, na. Yeah. All of my heart is in Havana. These are the two lovebirds we mentioned earlier. Camila Mendez and Charles Melton met on the set of Riverdale, and like many of their cast members, these two started dating. Their relationships seemed to be going great until it wasn't. The love fest that began back in 2018 ended in December of 2019. Maybe it was the COVID-19 pandemic, but no. Seriously, Camila actually decided to try out new things and started dating Grace and Vaughn. But this relationship lasted even shorter than the one with Charles Melton. But there might be a revival coming in the near future as Camila and Charles are reportedly back together. Number five, Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan. After the dance show Step Up, these two were finally out and they were the Hollywood couple to beat. After dating for a couple of years, these two got married in 2009 and even had a daughter together. Channing was constantly talking about how Jenna was one of the most athletic women he has ever met, and he even stated that in bed, he just had to lay there. 
Jenna usually did all of the work. Wink, wink. Now, the couple that we thought had it all failed the test of time. The couple got divorced in 2019. And you have to stay with us until the end if you want to know which famous couple has broken the internet with a paparazzi kiss. Number four, Joey King and Jacob Bellordi. And I was like, oh, it's gonna happen, but it, until it just didn't, because. When the kissing booth first came out, Jacob Elordi and Joey King were already dating. Why? Because they met on the set and it wasn't just Elle who had a crush on Noah. We soon realized that Joey and Jacob were in an intimate relationship with one another. However, all of that romance soon turned sour. All of those cute photos were deleted and we never got to see them together again. Well, except in the kissing booth too. They still reprised their roles and could remain professional despite having to kiss their exes. Speaking of appearing on the set with your ex, Joey has opened up about her relationship on The Howard Stern Show, and she claimed that even though she and Jacob had fun together, it was a competition of who would outwork or outperform the other. So that explains King's statement that she would never again date a co-star. Number three, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Such is life. You can't talk about on-screen couples without talking about these two. There's not a man living who doesn't know about their marriage, their 324,566 children, and their famous movie roles. And although cliche, because of their popularity, we felt like they deserved a spot on our list. We should mention that Angelina and Brad not only started movies together, but they also started a wine business together. Brad Pitt went so far as to refuse to kiss other female actresses on the set out of sheer respect for his wife. However, like many of the marriages in Hollywood, theirs didn't last either. Number two, Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens. When it comes to relationship goals, these two nailed it. They were the couple teenagers from all over the world were talking about. Girls wanted a boyfriend like Troy Bolton from High School Musical, and boys wanted a girl like Gabby Montez on their arm. And now that we started talking about High School Musical, we should mention that these two met on the set. The characters fell in love and the actors followed suit. Sadly, they didn't make it through, and all of the fame, the fortune, and the fans made their dating lives so difficult that they had to break up. Vanessa has even said that the fan girls were trying to take Zach away from her. Number one, Tom Holland and Zendaya. Are you okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is everybody else okay? Oh, yeah, everyone's okay. Oh, yeah. They're both young. She's gorgeous, and he's a handsome stallion. When fate brought them together in Spider-Man Homecoming, God, we sound like one of those love gurus you see online. Fans started speculating that these two are in a relationship, but Zendaya was quick to tell everyone that she and Holland were nothing more than just friends. We let it slide that time, but these two were hanging out more and more since then. Most recently, paparazzi have spotted both of them together in Tom Holland's car, jamming to music. Zendaya, sweetie, we don't if French kissing is what you do with your closest friends, but we would argue otherwise. Still no official news has been out yet. On a related note, do you think Tom Holland and Zendaya will get married? You can tell us in the comments section below. If you'd like more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.